have the power bracelet and we have a bunch of hearts, we are going to use our secret little shortcut we discovered. And we're going to try to find another sword. Yes, the white sword is nearby. There is oh, another heart piece not too far from it. Was that the right? Yeah, that's the right way. This takes you like where the fifth dungeon would be. And then if oh, we yeah, cross yeah, over okay. here. I think you wanted to go... It's up yeah. here, right? Yeah, it's up there. Yep, it's that door. That was disoriented. He said, like, stand himself right in front of the door, too. All right. Don't mind if I do, sir. All, All right. right, you want to get you want to get one more heart? That's that's up for up for grabs. Yeah, why not? Okay, so go down and to the right. A couple screens to the right. I can't because this doesn't let you go to the right. Gotta go to the right. I'm sorry, the east. Oh. And <laughs> now keep going, keep going. Well, I can't go that way. I have to go this way. What's what's stopping you? Because it repeats the map over and over and over. Oh. Fine. Yeah, I said to go all the way around. Jeez. It's taking the longest way possible. Well, I mean, I could whistle and then uh, land somewhere <laughs> that's not necessarily that much closer. Ironically, that would have been slightly closer. Yeah, I forgot how okay, so. green you had to go through. Yeah. A little bit more to the right. I recall there's a few secret spots in this desert too where you can use a whistle. There is one in this room. It's a potion, and that. It's a just well, potion? it's a, it's a potion shop. Oh, well, okay. Which I don't, so. I can't use yet. Oh yeah. Oh, you yeah. old lady. I have the letter. And go down. And whistle. I remember these in uh, the master quest and thought it was really interesting. Like, wow, this is uh, totally different. Yeah. They really make you work for the upgrades <laughs> Master Quest. Alright. So how many hearts do you need to qualify for the... 12? Yeah, we can't, can't claim the, the Magic Sword this time. Well, we already got an upgrade, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Yeah, yeah, that White Sword, got... Extra Hearts, you'll be in much better fight, shape to fight Leoc. Alright, so let's go find the second dungeon again. Yep. I remember where it is now. I was having a moment where I was like, where in the heck was that? We went. <laughs> but it's uh, where the secret I remember top nothing. is. You, you, you've been living it more than I have, though. Yeah, you're just sort of living it vicariously through me. Right. I would have done things in slightly different manners as you did. Yeah, like, I mean, you would have already been on the fourth dungeon by now. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't think I would have done it better. I'm just saying I would have done it different. Ah. Killed enemies uh, in different orders. Yeah. Less like mercy. Right. Like every now and then, like I'll pass up an enemy. Like, eh, you don't need to die. Right. And clearly, you were wrong about that. All shall perish before the might of Link. Now, see, I haven't beat the second dungeon, but it should be warping me to it anyway when I use my warp. I cr I agree. It, it should be. But the way of the whistle. Is undoable. There we go. That's what I was looking for. So I can go in there with full health, take myself straight to Gleok. Yep. I'll be able to smash him around a little bit with my better sword. Take him down. <laughs> then we'll be able to end this episode feeling a little bit more satisfied than we had the like last few times. Champions. Look at that. Guy only took down two hits and he died. Much better. Much, much better. Everything will be a lot easier with this new sword. Well, I mean, I'm actually stabbing them with metal now. I'm not just hitting them with a stick until they just, you know, sort of give up out of embarrassment. <laughs> it's like, okay, fine, I'll, I'll leave. You're the hero, Link. Like, way to go, Link. You shamed me into walking away. Well, I mean, you saw those uh, blobs I guess killed. It took one hit to kill them. One hit, yeah. Yeah, see, like, they take damage still, they're just... I get spend quite a few hits trying to kill those guys and they wouldn't die. So, so blow the whistle, see what happens, though. <coughs> okay, sure. And then let's debate. 
I mean, we have it. <laughs> and they yeah, don't care. They don't care at all. They only hate certain kinds of noise. Right, right. Ar arrow noises. The noises of arrows hitting them in the face. Not the, the arrow itself, mind you, just the noise. It makes me wonder, like in the virtual console, uh, like on the 3DS, mm -hmm. did they bring that back? They could have. Because I mean, like the microphone's there, it's on the system. Yeah. But on I'm the not... Wii, they wouldn't have had that option. No, but I'm like, I'm not sure if I have this on the 3DS. If I do, I should try that one time and see if it works. It was one of the Ambassador games, if you, if you were part of that. Oh yeah, it was. You were one of the fools who bought a new gaming system on launch day. Yeah, I'm, uh, jump. I can be pretty guilty of that sometimes. <laughs> Look at this, I can just do this now. Man, I had the thing pre-ordered just in case. And that turned out to be unnecessary. Well, I remember when the 3DS was launched and I was looking at it and like, I looked at 3D and like, I immediately wasn't interested in it being 3D. Oh, yeah. It's just like, well, it's another Nintendo handheld, I'm gonna get it anyway, but... Right, yeah, um, the... Glasses free 3D was just mind blowing. It was interesting, but at the same time, like, yeah, I mean, it's interesting for five minutes, if at that. I don't know, man. I, I play all my 3DS games in 3D. Do you really? I do. I don't play anything in 3D. It. Like, I haven't turned my 3D slider on in several months. Oh, man. Like, uh, the Fire Emblem games look awesome. Um, Shantae uh, and the Pirate's Curse, they went through the effort of rounding all the round parts of the female models. Did they really? <laughs> they did. It's, uh, it, it's to the point of being kind of embarrassing, but yes, they did. <laughs> it's like, you guys imagine this developer spending all this time like, I gotta make these extra, extra, extra round. <laughs> yeah, and they go home uh, and like, I just got paid for doing that. Right, right. I, uh, I made three-dimensional breasts in a video game <laughs> using a 3D screen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um... What was I going to say? Uh, Resident Evil Revelations looks amazing. A, a lot of the games look really, really good in 3D. And I, I feel like the graphics in general just look better when the 3D is on. They're, really? I feel like they're it looks better when you turn it off. But, uh... I think so? I, I noticed the uh, the aliasing a lot more. Yeah. I don't know, I, I enjoy it without yeah. it on there. Like, yeah. I would have been happy with no, with the 2DS if, with, if it right. pulled it up. Oh, and, and Tri Triforce Heroes was the other one. Link to the Pat. Link Between Worlds, too. Both I actually was kind of, like, good. smugly satisfied that uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon doesn't use a 3D. Oh, really? That was, like, the only negative for me. Like, I turned it on, like, uh, I was like, oh, I'll turn on the slider and see what it looks like, because I always do that at least once for every game. I'm like, oh, it doesn't work. And I was like, okay, well, whatever. Well. And then, like, for Hyrule Warriors Legends, I think you could only use a 3D with the, uh, with the new 3DS. Yeah, yeah, it broke the game otherwise. All right, so yeah, we need to find the third dungeon. If you if you ever play, um, if you ever play another one of the 3DS Zelda games, Link Between the Worlds or uh, Traveler's Heroes again, at least turn the 3D on for the boss fights because oh, for the boss it's... fights. I mean, I turned it on for a little bit for Link Between Worlds, and I thought it looked pretty cool. Yeah. And I think they wanted to be kind of essential for like some of the multi-level uh, ones, but. Uh... It was communicated well enough without it that you could sort of tell sure. where, what the dimensions were, but... I mean, it looked uh, good for what it was supposed to be. But yeah, I mean, I do it, I guess, sort of get eye strained from doing it, so... Oh, yeah, that, that ruins it. I don't, I don't have that disability. Alright, dungeon number three. <laughs> yeah, I said it. So did you ever do the 3DS, or not 3DS, but the Virtual Boy then? I did not. I, uh... There's a lake you can drain in the uh, the green forest. Oh, that's right. We ran into that earlier. Good. Yeah, just, the virtual. I'm not even I'm thinking about it because I mean I have the flute, but uh, I'm not used to having it this early. Right. This is very early for the flute. All right. So yeah, the, was the virtual boy I never picked up. I uh, I don't think I even asked my parents for it or about it when it was... Oh, neither did I. Like, I remember seeing it in Toys R Us as a kid, and I, like, I gave it a look. I was like, oh, this is something in the Toys R Us style. But uh, immediately, I just sort of had no interest in it. Yeah, the, <laughs> the monochrome red and the wireframe graphics, they just... They felt like a step down. 
Yeah, I mean, like, you know, like, you're sticking your head in this thing, and, like, it just wasn't any appeal for me. And, like, it made me wonder, like, why they thought I was a good idea to even sell it. Right. Like, it even surprised me, like, it even made it to America, period. Yeah, it's just, it's just the uh, technology wasn't there yet. And I appreciate what they were trying, but couldn't do what they wanted at the time. Yeah. Um. No, it's not this one. It's not this one. Where are you? I mean, you're one of the teleports. Like, you can uh, move that block and it's more Oh, of yeah, yeah, it's where you are now. Yep. Well, it was. You are there it is, yeah. way too far west. West, okay. I need to keep going east. Go east. I will alert you to any interesting points, like dungeon number seven, if you want to go there. I think I'm a little bit early for that. You can get the, uh, the orange candle early. That would be nice. It was sometimes nice to dive into dungeons and uh, just do like a suicide run for an item. Yeah. Like, uh, that's how you get through Link to the Past. You, you get the blue ring as soon as you can from the Ice Palace and run away from the Ice Palace and go get the cane of winning the Ice Palace. You know, I never actually did that order before. Oh. I always, uh, I always did my, uh, I mean, I've done the dungeons out of order in the game before, but, uh, I, uh go, go left again. Go left? Yeah. I, I uh... Okay, yeah, I remember this. I was probably 30 before I beat the dungeons in the Intended Order in that game. And it was right after past? I beat Skyward Sword. I did another run of Link to the Past to wash the taste out of my mouth. And I did the uh, dungeons in Numbered Order. Alright, yeah. is this a good stopping point? Yeah, I mean, we're here we are in a new dungeon. Like, wow, these guys are really weak. That sword. Well, it feels insulting. But yeah, it's probably a good place to leave, uh, and then we'll pick this up next time. Uh, we'll Dude, take what? on Dungeon 3, and hopefully I won't have to spend uh, a good two episodes having to run around looking for other <laughs> stuff again. Well, you know, gave gave the viewers a nice tour of Hyrule, and got some very helpful items that'll make the rest of the dungeons go quicker. Yeah, so it's very cultural. Very Fewer cultural. Gamers, yeah, yeah, very, very cultural. Alright, we'll uh, see you guys next time.